Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, there will be no guitars involved as we will be taking a look at Riff <laughs> What is this, the fourth time I've done a show on Riff Because it's just so good. All right. Let's get into it, shall we? Right about now. Hello, welcome to the show. I am Jade. This is my name. Don't wear it out. I hope you're doing good wherever you are in this big, wide, old, spinning blue ball. Uh, it's it's a morning, and I'm excited because we're looking at Riffler again, and there's been some fantastic updates with it. And I'm going to show you maybe something a little bit special. I'm just checking to see if it's downloaded over here on my computer on my Mac. On my Mac. Where's the camera? Over there on my Mac. Because maybe Rifflers are on Mac now. Ooh la la. Anyway, I'll say hello to you all uh, in the chat. Want to welcome also Wart Warriors. You can become a Wart Warrior by clicking the join button or clicking the link that's down below. If you're on an iOS device, hello. Thank you, Leela, for the past hour and 40 minutes over on the Rise of Dark Leela's channel. She created some fantastic art like she normally did. Look at these two fighting over putting the links in there. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. And Thomas, welcome back. You are sorely missed when you're not here. I hope you're doing good. We missed you yesterday. And hang on a minute. What's, what's this? What, I, see, I see a thing. I see a one. Hang on. So I, I, my attention's been caught somehow. I see a, I see something. I'll, I'll say hello and then I'll come back to this. Hang on a minute. This is exciting. Uh, Greg, hello. Falcro, you love being a wart. Good stuff. Um, yes. Uh, Chad Freeman, hello. Hello, Brad Example, you sexy thing. God, everybody's wearing your T-shirts these days. I, I went and checked and holy hell, we've sold a few of those T-shirts with you on them, Brad. Jesus. You're a bit of a stud. Yeah, right on. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, no problem. You look so painful when you said that. Did you have diarrhea or something? <laughs> What's going on? Um, have I missed anyone? <laughs> if I've missed you, uh, I'm doing my best to catch up. I think I've got most of you. If you're lurking, lurk away. Lurk, lurk, lurk. As I said, there will be no guitars hurt in this show today because we're looking at riff lane. You don't need a guitar. In fact... Uh, Riffler is a pretty damn good guitarist by itself. Tom's Christ got two songs finished in the last 24 hours. Isn't that damn awesome? That is awesome indeed. Uh, I'll give you an update on some things. See this little thing here? This is called a Rode Wireless Go Transmitter. This is what I talk into every day. And it sits. Normally it's got a little clip on the back. See, this is a, I, I can, how can I show you? Let's go over this camera here. <clears throat> See if I can show you over here. So that's only got a little clip on the back where it little clips on. See, here's the other one I've got here. This is the, uh, this is my receiver, which I used to use. See the little clip on the back there? And I used to use this uh, and it would plug into here. But these days, the Rodecaster actually has its own built-in receiver now in an update. So I don't need to use the receiver at all. But I'd still need to use the transmitter, which is here, which uh, is now sitting in my pocket because, as you can see, the clip has broken off my transmitter. And I have sent a warranty request to Rode to get it sorted. And they came back to me with, sure, not a problem because Rode are amazing, right? You get huge warranties. You just send it back, they'll give you a new one. They're good. They're fantastic. But what am I going to do to have a mic until then? I don't know. So, um, I mean, I can go primitive and talk into the, there's my little clip there that uh, is broken off, unfortunately. So I've appealed to Rode and I'm waiting for an email <laughs> saying, look at all the shows I've done reviewing your gear. Can't you just send me one and then I'll send this back when I get the other one. <laughs> we'll see what they do, huh? We'll see what they do. The, the, the chess piece is in that part of the board. Your move, Rode. 
<laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd tell you that exciting bit of stuff. Um, where else do I need to go now? I need to go over here because we're going to take a look at the Beat Community. Boom, over here where we have our four pockets have some price drops. This Jan Mays uh, has released a J-Amp 8100. Very excited. Downloaded it yesterday. Possibly do a show on it next week. Yes, yes, yes. It's an in-app purchase. Free to download to test out the sound. Sounds pretty brutal. Um, yeah, there's that. Uh, OSC has the pocket OSC for iOS, which we'll look at next week. Um, sale apps from Four Pockets include Helium and New Rack, Snake Bud from Chem OK. We've got Pure Upright and Pure Piano on sale for $14.99. Um, still got some audio kit stuff on sale. Synthmaster, I don't know if Cubase is still on sale. Probably is. There it is, yes. Sample Whiz, Rainbow Delay, heaps of stuff still on sale. All the Swarm instruments have been on sale for a heap, heaps long time, so that's cool. Today we're looking at Riffler. Riffler. I've done three shows on Riffler because it continues to evolve, and today is no different. The last time I looked at Riffler, it had been given a new function called Master and Slave, but since then, there's been a bunch of updates with the overall look of the app. Plus, it's had a whole bunch of new riffs added. It's also had some riffs added from friend of the show, an amazing keyboard player and guitarist, Jordan Rudess from Dream Theater has added his own uh, little sound packs, little uh, riffs and stuff to it. So that's really exciting. So that's why we're looking at this today. Plus, we're in song timber season. So, you know, not everybody knows how to play a guitar. This is the perfect app to help you do that. Not only that, it, piano, whatever you want, it creates riffs. And they're all copyright free. That's the, the best bit about it. Completely copyright free. You're not going to get pinged for them or anything like that. Plus, great for songwriting. Great for using just as a guitar. You'll see how good it sounds. It's it's like having a real guitarist. But as I was looking over here at the website for Riffler, which is riffler.app, I noticed the Windows and Mac demo. So there is a Windows and Mac demo. So what I've done, minutes, only seconds before the show, is I've downloaded it onto my Mac, and we're going to install it and see if it works. Oh, there it is. I'm going to install it. Let's pop over to my Mac so we can see what's happening here. Um, there it is. We're installing. Yes, and I'll, Apple cannot check this software. Yes, I just install it, please. Do it for me. Hopefully it's, it's uh, installing. I have no idea. Did I click the right button? I'm sure we're going to find out. So it bounce back over here to me. So... We'll see if it does, in fact, uh, install. Let's see if it's in my uh, stuff. Noink. Where are we? I can't see it. So let's try again. Um, Rifflab cannot be open because Apple cannot check it. This software needs to be updated. Contact the developer. Oh, I can't. Sh I can't get it to open. I can't get it to install. I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe we'll find out on another. Um, I can't make it safe, can I? Hmm. Well, I can't do that. But apparently it does work. So you can at least download it for Windows. Apple's always a thing because maybe it just hasn't been updated for a while. But uh, it is available on Windows over here. So you can go to riffler.app and uh, maybe we'll try again. Or I'll try and work around it at the end of the show. So this thing is really good. And you're going to find out why in just a second. As I said, it is $14.99. I know it's got a little bit of a price tag on it, but trust me, it's a beast. Hello, Feisty Feather. Hello, Zach Fong. What is up? Yeah. Boom. Okay. And there's 19 of you here. So welcome all if you're lurking as well. All good. Happy days. So shall I open this up and... Have a mess with it. Now, this is what I got excited about at the start of the show. Look at this. Has anybody got this on their logic? There's a one. I see a one sitting above my logic. What, what, what's this? This wasn't here before. There's a one sitting above my logic. Has there been an update to logic? We need to find out, don't we? Ooh. 
it, c- it can only have happened in the last 20 minutes. There's nothing in here. Uh, updates. There's nothing in here. It Maybe it's a new sound pack or something like that. Um, by the way, bark filter. <laughs> oh, no, I've been skull f- by Brad. Brad's always skull f- me. Bark filter has been updated, by the way. I'm going to grab that. So if you don't know what bark filter is, it's a wicked, wicked uh, compressor. It's, it's really, really cool. And uh, it's, it's a, uh, was that Lilo skull left me? And now Lilo's skull, <laughs> damn. Um, so bark filter has been updated. I need to find out what's going on with logic. I'm so curious what this one is. <laughs> I have to open this up anyway. So we're going to open this project. Alrighty. I, okay, I can see where the one is. It's somewhere here. Where's the one? <gasps> sound. There's been a new sound library. Look what's going on. I've got the scoop live. Vox Melodics Vocal Pack for Logic. What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, look who it is. It's, uh, it's Bin Boy. It's Bin Boy. <laughs> Hi, Russ. New sounds for uh, Logic. In music today, the voice is the most recognised and memorable part of the song. So to all the beat makers who want to add some next level vocals to your tracks, this pack is for you. Introducing Vox Melodics, a diverse collection of lyrical phrases, hooks, layered harmonies, FX and one shots all with stylistic emphasis on chart-friendly R&B, hip-hop, and EDM. <sighs> Performed by top-notch singers, rappers, it starts with pristine vocal recordings. Let's hear yeah. Oh, my God! I already hate it. Don't care. Don't care. Back up, boy, it's my moment. Uh, get Wow Get sound pack Okay Not going to help me in any way Thanks Apple for continuing to uh, look after music That has no interest to anyone who makes rock Or anything slightly away from fucking EDM Good job Continuing your, <laughs> your trend of bucking anybody who plays real music <laughs> Real people, real music says Ron uh, downloaded. Anyway, it's uh, how big is it? So it's 79 megabytes. There you go. So expect Pete to have a video or three in the next uh, two hours. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> There's a scoop for you. All right. See, live scoop on the channel. That only just happened. But we, let's get back to Riffler because Riffler is far more important. No, Russ, never will I make hip hop. No, it's not going to happen. All right, maybe I will. All right. So I whip this up in five minutes. Down in the darkness, inside your planet, now is the time. You will not find Down in your darkness Return if I can say I will crack you down Now you will find Your river fire Twisted inside Oh yeah Yeah. <laughs> now, Riffler is just damn incredible because all of that was generated by Riffler. No guitar playing, no nothing, all the bass, all the guitar, and you can make it a piano and all this stuff. So let's just open Riffler by itself as a standalone. We'll go through some of the new stuff. And then we'll make something at the end of the show, yeah? Because he's a wicked uh, Riffler. Now, there's no in-app purchases or anything with this. Yeah. 
So the first thing you will notice straight away is a brand new interface. Uh, if you go back and watch my other shows on Riffler, which go through a whole lot of the where everything is, it's a little bit different now because everything's kind of been shifted around. It's a lot simpler. It's a, Everything's a lot bigger and easier to see, which is fantastic for people with crappy eyesight like myself. Uh, let's go across the top. So you've got an undo and redo, which is super handy to have. Undo and redo is just great for this uh, program. You can do some zooming. So you can zoom in on your, your riffs and such, and you can zoom out. You've got a random dice here, so you can create random riffs. Nice stuff. You also have a little help thing here, which uh, tells you information about what all the buttons are, which makes me obsolete. So you don't even need me, do you? You've got a cog wheel here, which gives you a whole bunch of options. And within these options, you've got things like you can lock and unlock all the bars. You can auto scroll, light up notes during playback. You got an endless mode where it keeps playing and playing. You got update riffs on parameter change, rewind changes. You can export MIDI. You can export audio. You can import uh, import stuff you may have made on another device using Riffler and then import it onto another device using the uh, the import Riff book. You can lock parameters and look at all the things you can lock in here. So you can lock palm muting, tremolo picking. Um, there's so many things you can do with this app. It is just great. We also have up here a tempo. So we can change the tempo. Now this is the standalone version. So uh, you can also open this as an AUV3. Hello, Tremor Bear. If there's anyone I missed, hello to you too. So uh, now we have in this, so the, these are our sections. We've got our presets, which you can see down here. You can just scroll with your finger. Let me show you that. So you can just scroll through presets. Super easy by scrolling to the left. And once you choose a category, you have options on the right within that category. So you can see we've got showcase presets selected at the moment. And in here we've got heavy chromatic, clean arpeggios, funk metal, classic riffing, twin riffing all the way down here, crazy wagon, progressive degent. So if I click that and then hit play, <laughs> So you got a play and stop button down the bottom here. And Greg says, if it had a song mode, I'd use it for more than just playing riffs rather than generating them. It's a great guitarist. And indeed, and song mode is on the cards. It is something that has been in the works for a little while. It is coming. So there will be another show eventually once song mode is included. At least now with this, we have the master slave thing, which does really help. So I find it really easy to generate lots of stuff that you can keep together with the Master Slave. Hello, Hugh Caldwell. I hope you're doing well, my friend. And there's Andy as well. Hello to you. So these are our presets down the side, as I said. And these are, so you can see when we click through these, you get a, every one of these has got a whole bunch of presets. Just scroll down. So you've got things like blues, funk, clean, metal, progressive metal. These are the new ones. 
from Jordan Rudess. Hello, Vadil for real. So these two packs here, Prog Metal 1 and Prog Metal 2, these are the new ones from Jordan Rudess. Like, sound like Adam Burst right now. on Z. Very prog. So we've got two new prog metal packs. Lots of good stuff in there, let me tell you. So let's run through the rest of the settings so you get an understanding of how these can be changed. And um, then we'll open up as an AUV3 and start making some stuff and show you the various ways you can use it. Because there's so many different ways you can generate riffs and then use them with other sounds or export them as audio from within Logic. So we'll be using Logic today. The other videos that I've done previously have mostly worked in AUM. But because Logic has so many interesting features and ways you can do this now, we'll, we'll go in with Logic. Let's just go into our showcase preset 
and choose this heavy chromatic. Cool. So across the top are our little sections, uh, our little subsections. So here's our presets. The next section is our key. So this is where you can transpose, choose the key that you want the song to be in. And as you can see here, it is currently in B. If we hit play. Now it's in E. And you can see as I change these, uh, you can see the actual, uh, everything changing up here. Yeah, you can see it all changing. You can choose uh, different modes. You've got a, a mode here, so you can choose a major, Dorian. You've got all your modes here, Locrian, Mixolodian, all of that stuff. And then you have a scales in here, so blues, scales, chromatic, everything you want. Harmonic, minors, they're all in here to choose from. Plus you have progressions. So you can just choose progressions off the bat, and here they are. So when you've got scale, you can actually go in and choose the particular scale and the mode that you want. But if you choose one of these progressions, it locks in to rock. Blues. Metal. And you can manually do this as well. Hello, Pete Johns. Hello, Don Toro Grosser. So there are all your options there. Once you've chosen a style, we're going to choose metal, of course, create a, whoops, and hit create riff. So you can just create riffs to your heart's content just by generating, creating riff. Okay. So the next tab along is our feel button. And in here, you can change things like the melody, the range, the rhythm, how many gaps are in the riff. Let's turn all these down and watch what happens as we turn these down. It gets quite bland. So now... That is correct, Dom. So now we've got a, just a fairly chugga chugga, simple. If we increase the melody... Let's change the rhythm. Hi, Michael Songs. We can add some gaps in there. We can change the range. So you're getting more complexity with your riffs, repetition, and it all changes on the fly, yeah? We can change the feel at any time to go into an eighth. To a sixteenth. What's going on, Abe? Now we're at a sixteenth. Let's do some triplets. If you take out these gaps, you're going to get some more jogging. We can change to a funk. Or just go back to metal. <laughs> you can remove duplicate notes. Okay, let's jump over to the touch section. So this is where you can add vibrato. You can add chords, you can do palm muting, arpeggiators, and even bends. 15th bend would love this. Let's turn the bends all the way up. Take out the chords. 
Go back over here, we'll, we'll give this a bit more space. You can hear those bends now in there. We can add chords back in. We can add some palm mutes. I'll take out these bends. I mean, it, it's so limitless what you can do with this thing. Now we're tremolo picking. Double that up. Make it super fast. <laughs> We've got sustain on at the moment. <laughs> so lots of muting in there now. You also have the power on our next screen for runs. So we can decide where we want to put our runs. So you can put a run at the end of bar two, bar four. The complexity of the runs and the range of the, your runs. You can make them bluesy. Bit of Metallica-ish runs. Give him some width. Sex tuplets. <laughs> What's going on, Charlie? I haven't used Riffler for anything since my Inferno EP a couple of years ago. I think it's time to revisit. Yeah, man, it's so good. Also, you can choose your tone. So you got amps, you got some scoop sounds, bright drives, dark, vulgar display of power, <laughs> some chorus, some fuzz. Now the clean one is one of the ones I use the most, which we'll, you'll see why shortly. Clean's really good. So you got hollow sounds, bright, clean sounds. Chorus. We got fuzz for hippie. Boom. Oct fuzz octaves. That's exactly my point, Abe. So you use the clean sound and then you run something like Tone X. A membrini over the top, whatever amp sim you want, and you get some real dirt. So we got crunch. We've even got synth sounds in here because you can you can use this as MIDI and create piano from these as well. So we get some synth sounds. Very versatile. It's not just for, not just for guitar. How fat's that? Very muse. So over here, we can humanize things. So things aren't played exactly on the, on the line, you know, just give it that little bit of human feel. We can add some delay. Reverb. Especially good for like your clean sounds. You can go mono, really handy 
for exporting mono files. Because, you know, if you're playing guitar, a lot of the time you're recording in mono. So if you export this at one of these riffs as an audio track, you might want to choose mono. Save you changing it later. Or you've got stereo. Thirds. Tuning is our next section. So you can, there's so much you can do here. We've got a B7 string at the moment. We can go to a C standard. So now everything changes. So you can go through your, we've got uh, E flat standard, drop D. E standard, so these are your standards. You got an F sharp eight string. So the timing here, this is more so for uh, for the drums because you can turn off these drums. Uh, so you've got your time signature, your length. So if you are exporting this stuff, you've got time signatures. So you can go in here and literally put in whatever time signature you want. Really, really cool. Um, how long you want these things to go for. So if I hit extend here, we can extend how many bars we want. This can go up to eight bars. So if I scroll across now, you can see... And up the top here with our tablet sheet, not only do we have the tab here for you to mess around with, uh, but you've got your chords up the top, so you know what's going on, yeah. And uh, so there's our time. And here's where you can turn off the drums. We can turn these off if we don't want them. So hit play. You can change it to a click if you want, just hi-hats. Force the 4-4 percussion. And here's our MIDI section. So this is our MIDI out. If we're sending this, because we're in a standalone version, we can send this MIDI uh, places as well. So there you go. There is the basic uh, look at everything. Let's just jump back a touch to our key because you can go in here and change things up as well. And you can unlock and change things if you want. So you can see here, I can go in and change these notes. As long as I unlock, so you see the little padlocks across the top, we can hit over here, and then we can go down here, and we can change these notes, and we can change them to whatever we want. So you can go in and change it to, you can see the number changing to an E. We can choose a, a power chord here, so you can see it's added the seventh up there, or a palm muted power chord. Or we could put a half bend in there. So you can see it's put a little B down the bottom to make sure this note bends. So you can hear that boom. You can put a full bend. Let me just go back here and uh, bring this down to one. So you can put a full bend here. You can put vibratos, you can put a rest in. So you've got utter power to go in and change whatever you damn well like. And as soon as you hit the lock button, you're locked back in again, yeah? Hey, what's going on, Kid Kane? Good to see you. Let's hit create a riff. Choose something, let's choose this. We'll make it a power chord. And then lock it and it's locked in. Let's give it some tone. At the beginning of the show, I told you that you had a, a, a little dice up here and it'll just give you random stuff. Hey, Chem, good to see you, Chem. Always good to see you. So your dice 
gives you random stuff. You never know what you're gonna get. So then if I like one of these things, yeah, we've got this uh, drum here uh, and we've got this riff. We can head over to our MIDI section. Oh, sorry, where are we? We've got to go to our options and I'm going to export this. So as I said, you can export audio and you've got a few options. You can export, export audio or you can make sure you export the audio with the tail. So if you've got any delays or anything on it, it's going to keep that in there as well. So let's just do an export audio. Takes me straight to my downloads. Hit audio shares whenever I'm going to save it. You can name it in here, whatever you want. It's already got a name, A Blues 114. And we're going to hit move. And it should, if everything went right, you never know. There's our riff. So this can now be imported into anything you want. Good stuff. Super easy. Plus, if we go back here in our standalone, we can hit export MIDI. And uh, we'll go to audio share as well. And save this. And now if we go back over to audio share, there's our, oops, hit the right button. There's our MIDI. Yeah. Of course, it sounds stupid because it doesn't have anything connected to it. But then you can drag this into anything you like. Hey, what's going on, Dave Fox? Good to see you. It's been a long time. Okay, let's open up this and get into using this within Logic and show you the various ways you can use it because it's a lot of different ways you can use this to get things done. We're going to open Logic and create a MIDI track because that is how you have to open this as MIDI because that's what it is. It's MIDI. And in this little track here, we're going to open an instrument and there's Riffler. So you would just do a search for Riffler, but I've already used it lately. So here it is as an AUV3. We can open it up. There's the familiar looking app that we've just been looking at. Yeah. The first thing I always do now when I open this up in something like a door is go to our key section and you'll notice there's a couple more options in here. When you open this up as a, an AUV3, you are given these options called share progression. And this is where you can choose if you would like this version to be the master. So if I choose master now, this will be the main uh, control of any other one that I add to it. So if I add another track, it will stay in the same key as long as I turn it into a copy. I'll show you that. Let's add a new track here new MIDI track, and we're going to add Riffler again. And now in this second version of Riffler, I'm going to go to key and add copy. So now whatever key the first one is in, the second one will be in as well, which is really good if you're doing multiple tracks. Yeah. So let's create something. We'll uh, make this large and we'll just grab a preset. Let's find some death metal, extreme metal. We'll do a, uh, what do we got? We'll do a grind core, yes? Damn. Let's do the fast death metal. So now if I open the second one here, it's in the same key and you can see it moving along. It's actually moving along, but there's nothing in there. So if I hit generate riff, and then we add a tone to it. Thank you. 
So you can see when I bounce between them, they are both in the key of B. As I touch between them, so they're both in B. One's the master, one's the slave. If we change the slave now, the master, and go in here and say, I don't know, let's uh, let's see, hit create riff. And I don't know, we'll change it to a C sharp. Hit create riff. And then we should, the copy should happen as well. There it is. Right, so the master slave thing works really well for keeping the same key if you're making multiple things. Let's kill this one for now. We're gonna delete this track here and we'll keep our first one uh, as our master. Where are we? Here we are. So we've got our master, let's generate a riff. Let's go back to our presets, choose this. All right, now I'll show you one of the downfalls with this. So if I record this in now, it will record these notes as MIDI. So if I hit record on this track, hit record, let's do it. It's a 120 BPM. The BPM matches whatever, you know, you've got set here. So it's all sunk together. Hit record. And you can see it's putting the MIDI in. There's our four bars, yeah, there's our one bar of, uh, of, of metal. But if I hit play now, it's playing the MIDI, but it's actually still playing along down here. So we're getting double up. So this is where you need to decide what you want to do with this. And there's a few different ways you can do this. My suggestion is what I normally do with this. So if I like this riff, sounds good and I wanna like extend it, let's do this. I'll go up here and say, we'll loop it. Let's loop it out to there. Now I wanna turn this into audio. Yeah, hi Dean Thomas, hope you're doing well. How are we gonna do this? This is how I do it anyway. I'm gonna go into my tone and we're gonna change the tone to a clean tone. Nice, dry, clean tone. So when we play this back. So you see, it, the, it's still playing, but it's, the MIDI's not there anymore. All right? This is one of the problems. But let's fix that. So I'm, I'm just going to delete this MIDI now. I don't actually need it, do I? I don't. I don't need it. So we'll try deleting that. Now you can go with well, the beautiful thing about Logic is you can go in here and you can create a brand new audio track and you can dump the audio uh, the, from Riffler into an audio track. And let's show you how to do that. So we've now got two tracks. We've got Riffler on one track and we've got a blank audio track sitting here with no sound on it. I'm going to hit the plus up here, which gives us more options in our, in our uh, mixer. I'm going to create a bus. So there's our new bus and you see it's created a brand new track with a bus in it. And if I turn up this bus and now hit play, you can see the guitar has been played into the bus channel. Now I want to send the bus channel over here into this blank audio track. So I'm going to choose bus over here. And once I hit record, this should, now you can see all three tracks are playing it. Yeah. So now I can record this sound into this audio track. So let's give it a go. Let's hit record and see what happens. There is our audio right there. We've just recorded that straight in. 
So essentially, I don't need Riffler anymore. We have an audio track ready to go. I can loop it. If I want, I can go in and loop it like so. If I got the, the end a bit better there, that would sound a bit tighter. And now this is where it gets fun because it's a track that is clean. I can go in and choose from any of my guitar sims that I have. So let's just choose Nembrini's Ian Hardball. Let's choose a death tone. And holy fuck. And holy how good is that? And because Logic's so cool, we can just add an auto drummer in here just to make life easy. Let's grab a hard rock drummer. Let's put a drummer in there. You can program your own drums, of course. And in a second. <laughs> and you just don't need to play guitar anymore, do you? It's too good. But what about bass? We need some bass in there, man. We need some bass. Well, you we've got you covered, right? Let's do it. Let's uh solo. Let's solo our uh our original riffler. Go in here and let's change the feel of this. Because we've got it set to like, we've got our melody, we've got gaps, our rhythm. We've got chord set. Let's take out the chords. Let's take out the mutes. Let's give it some bends. Damn, that's what we want. still sounds like a guitar though. That's okay, because the difference is we can send this, we can actually record this now as MIDI. So let's come back here. Let's set record on here and we'll just record these notes in. <laughs> and then we'll sh I'll show you, show you, show you what we'll do next. So I'm gonna hit record. Now, I made a mistake there because I had this record set as well. Let's go back. Right, so we put some MIDI in, now it's a bit slower, but don't worry, don't worry. Let's change this out. So let's, oops, we went a bit far, there we go. So now we want this to be bass. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna create a new MIDI track, go in here. We've created a brand new MIDI track. I can go into instruments, choose something like I fretless bass, and then we drag this MIDI down into here. Let's choose a bass tone. We've got an aggressive pick bass. We'll stay with that. An aggressive pick bass. Let's solo this. It's a bit high. But the beauty of this now is we can go into our settings of this uh, this actual riff here, this this MIDI, by going down here to our information, and we can go into our general settings, and we can transpose this to a minus twenty four, maybe, 
one is 24. And you can add any bass you want to. So you could just add the something like we had a new MIDI track here. We can go in and choose from the instrument patches in here. Let's choose a bass, acoustic bass. Uh, we'll just choose something like a... We want a, a playable bass. Let's go with, um, what do we got in here? I'm pretty sure there's like a Liverpool bass, yeah? So I can drag this over here and then pull this MIDI down. Now you notice it's a lot deeper because we've got, we've added that octave because it's just a different kind of bass sound. So if we go minus 12, now that's doomy. Or we just go zero. So you've got many ways to uh, move things around, add parts, and do all that. Um, another way which I find super interesting is this. Uh, so what I really would love here in uh, Logic, it would be the ability to create a brand new MIDI track. All right, it would save a lot of headaches. I don't know if uh, Jonathan can do this, but if we add, let's just mute all of these for now. And then I add a, a new MIDI channel. It would be really cool if we could add Riffler as a MIDI effects. Currently we can't, because then we could just send the MIDI anywhere. It would be awesome. But there's a way around it. I love this. <laughs> Let me show you this little trick. So, um, and I actually learned this thanks to Ed Z, who's, who was here in the chat. So, because I want to, I want to like use Riffler on some piano. But I can't do it like live because when you open a Riffler track in Logic, it's only going to play the sounds that you've got within here. You can't directly send it. You, you can. You can send it using the method we did before with the uh, – let me bring this back up here. Do, 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 do. Man. With our B1 and sending our, uh, to a bus, we can do all that kind of stuff. But there's also another way you can uh, use this. Let's show you. I can open AUM. And in AUM, I can create a MIDI channel, go in here, choose Riffler. And from here, it's not going to make any sound. Whatever riff I generate, let's just generate a riff and hit play. It's not making any sound at all. So I can't hear what it's doing. But in the options here, I can send the out here to AUM source, and now over here, in this new track I have, this new uh, blank track, where it is, where is it? Uh, I did, I did, there it is, there's a new blank track. I can put a piano in here, like Piano Tech, and I should be able to connect this up and, and hit record. And I've got record set and everything's good. So we've got a piano tech. Uh, did I do all this right? I had this working okay last night. Why is it not working now? <laughs> Never work. Ah, that's why. So we've got this going here. We want to go out to our AUM source. And like it was yesterday, it was working. But of course, it's not working right now. <sighs> oh, I've got the wrong thing set. Here we go. So now we're sending. This over here. We're now 
now sending from AUM over into Logic. And if I just hit record over here, Recording the MIDI in here. So there's multiple ways to trick this thing into uh, <laughs> doing some really cool stuff. Let's bring this, let's just trim this and uh, add these drums back in. It's a bit out of time because the timing was different over there on, but you can, uh, I should have really able to link this up. So it was all in time and that would have been better, would have been much better. In fact, let's do it again because it was a different timing. Let's delete this. I'm going to hit record again over here. So how cool is that? Now, <laughs> from Riffler, we've created our own piano into here, which matches up with these drums. And if we bring in the guitar, maybe it'll match. Who knows? So I'm not actually creating anything right now, but you can see you can add anything to this. So we've got a piano in here at the moment. I can change this riff out to this uh, instrument to whatever I want. Let's change it to isymphonic. So now we've got some strings. So not only is riff look good for guitars and bass, it's unreal for creating stuff like, you know, synths, pianos, anything pretty much. Plus, remember earlier in the standalone version, we exported some files. So if I bring up my files app now, let's drag those files in here. And here they are. So remember we did an audio file and we also did a MIDI file. So let's grab one of these and drag it in here. This is the audio file. And there's a riff we made before. Also, we can grab the MIDI file if we want and drag that in here. It'll import the tempo as well. And it's done the same thing for this. So now we have, if I solo this, here's our MIDI. So there's so many different ways you can do this that you can uh, create riffs and add them in here. And it, it's just unbelievably, an unbelievably powerful tool with so much to offer. And once that song mode comes, which is very, 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 very exciting to have a song mode, it's just going to be even better and better and better and better and better to be able to create a whole song in Riffler and then export it all in. That's just going to be awesome. Yeah. Let's go back to our original demo we had here at the start. many vibes. Welcome back, Dom. So 
So you'll notice out of this, these four tracks that I've made, we've got our bass, we've got two guitar parts here, and um, we've got these drums. But up the top, I've got this muted track. What is in this muted track? Let's have a listen and see what is going on up here. There's nothing in there. There is. There's Riffler. So in here, I've kept Riffler uh, running. So if I want to make a variation of any of these riffs, I can go in here and uh, make a quick variation. So we can go in and say, change the runs. Let's uh, put in some more runs in this. Let's change the feel a bit. We'll put in some more gaps. Uh, let's go in here. Let's listen to what this is now. So what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this one now? Yes, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to record the MIDI with this. I'm going to hit record like so. Okay, so now we've got that MIDI. I'm going to mute this track, create a brand new MIDI track, drag this MIDI down here. Let's load a piano. I can go in here and turn this into anything I want. I can get rid of this uh, this piano, turn it into a classical guitar if I really want. So from now, I can probably start building a song, can't I? Let's uh, let's do that. Let's drag this out. Oops, didn't want to do that. Click this button. We'll drag. Drag another one out here. Uh, we'll start off with just the bass and that. Then we'll bring in some guitar here. So we'll move these over here. We'll start with this one. Make a duplicate of this one. Make a duplicate of this one. Like so, we're just duplicating these out. And before you know it, we are starting to put together a song. Like so. In fact, let's go in here and change this, these drums. We can half time these.
pretty damn good. Well, that's the thing, many vibes. You don't need to know how to play. This thing generates everything for you. It's all about not being able to play is what makes this app so wonderful because you don't need to know a thing. You can generate whatever you want. See you later, Dave. Thanks for stopping by. Be well. That's the thing. You don't need to know anything about a guitar. You just go to a preset. Let's do some uh, psychobilly. <laughs> Let's do a bit of rockabilly.
So many presets. And again, like I said at the beginning of the show, these are all copyright free. All copyright free. Convert them into MIDI. Turn them into audio. Do what you want with them. Chop them up. Splice them up. Add effects to them. Do whatever you want. There's so much in this app. It is still one of the most amazing apps on iOS. And now, as I said at the beginning, you can get the beta for Mac and PC just by going to the website, riffler.app. You can download the free Windows demo and the Mac demo. These, at the moment, are standalone versions only. Yeah? And it's also available on Android as well. So, way cool. Way, way, way cool. So if you've got an Android device, if you haven't been left out, you can do so as well on your Android device. Wicked stuff. I'm going to end it today. We have a featured artist like we do every day here on the show. Today's featured artist is Marcus Cannell with, I think, Auntie G again singing with Marcus. Tomorrow on the show, fingers crossed, everything goes all right. We're taking a look at... Bleece's Fusion app, which is a wave shaping distortion tool. Yeah, very unique. Very, very unique, uh, this. So there is a Fusion. We're looking at this tomorrow. And then, uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is happening. Oh, we're finally here. The day after, it is September 1st here in Australia, August 31st for the rest of you. The Song Timber kickoff party is happening here right on the channel. You won't want to miss it. I'm telling you that because me and Pete Johns will be here. We will be launching Song Timber 2023, where we encourage you all to create a song in a month. I've already started and did a show yesterday. If you want to go back and listen to the crazy song I'm working on for this Song Timber, yeah? And me and Pete are going to be talking a bit about Song Timber. We're going to be playing a bunch of your songs that you've released over the last four or five years of song, four years of Song Timber. And we're also celebrating one thousand episodes of this show tomorrow and tomorrow is well it's not tomorrow it's a day after <laughs> so and it's my birthday as well so it's going to be a massive massive show my birthday a thousand episodes and kicking off song timber wicked stuff are you excited i'm excited i'm super pumped man very very excited so it's very cool to know and then the day after that i will be jump, jumping straight in and starting off the first episode of official of working on my song, my utensil song for September 2023. If you missed yesterday, go back and have a look because it's going to be weird. And that's what we want. Weird. All right. Let's go out today with our featured artist, who is Marcus Cannell. There is a pinned comment up the top of the chat that you can click on. It'll take you to his YouTube channel, so I suggest you do so and subscribe. There's also a link to Song Whip, which will take you to his uh, streaming services like, you know, Apple and all that stuff, Spotify's and your Amazons and all those places that you can get his music. This is a brand new song called Rise Up featuring Magnus Westman and Auntie G on vocals. So it's a duet, it looks like. It is, I've heard it, so... Let's play this sucker, keeping in the vein of metal. Let's do it. This is Marcus Cannell featuring Magnus Westman and Auntie G. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better and we'll all rise together. Let's do it. Marcus Cannell. Boom. Exactly, hippie.
Cause you make me shine better 